story that we're going to be bringing you right now is going to astonish you, not just because it's something that will eat right into what everyone has suspected about the land mafia in Mumbai, but this is something real and it involves the very highest people, both in the state government as well as the central government in Delhi. We're going to discuss this threadbare. We have our reporter, headlines today's Kamdesh Sutar, who went out and did this intrepid investigation in India's maximum city. We'll be speaking to him and find out just what the dirt really is on our netas, both in the center and in Mumbai. We'll also get a perspective on how the government is going to deal with this very, very disturbing story. Stay tuned. We're going to give that to you in the next couple of minutes. You're on Ground Zero. Today, we're breaking what is possibly one of Mumbai's most shamefully guarded secrets. Neta's stealing flats reserved for the armed army. Maybe you thought that this happens. Here, we're going to prove it to you. This is literally maximum profit for maximum politicians in India's maximum city. It's the great Mumbai property scam and that is no exaggeration as you will see in a minute. Chief Minister after Chief Minister has misused the discretionary quota allowing him to allot flats to the needy in Mumbai. Instead, handing them over out on a silver platter to politicians far from anything even resembling economic difficulty. But the big names are all tumbling out of the bag now. In a moment, you'll have before you details of those involved in this shameful scam. Union ministers, state ministers, party leaders, and how poor and needy and helpless these netas actually position themselves to be. But first, headlines today is Kamlesh Sitar with the breaking story that takes you through this monumental and time-tested act of fraud. Mumbai, a city cramped for space. In this city, your dream house is just a dream. With property rates touching the sky, buying a decent flat is beyond the reach of the armed Mumbaiker. Headlines today exposes the great Mumbai property scam. We tell you how our netas are actually stealing our flats. Not only do netas snatch away houses from the needy, they also make enormous profits by selling them. The means of this great robbery, a scheme meant for the Aam Aadmi, the chief minister's 5% discretionary quota. The state government had come up with this scheme to provide affordable housing for people who were in dire need of a house. But it was not long before the scheme caught the eyes of our politicians who are, as they declare, poorer than the common man and more in need of a house to live in. Data shows that over the last 16 years nearly 85% of the apartments have been given to ministers, MLAs, MPs, their relatives and friends. Of the total 3,993 recipients, 2,994 are from the Congress, the Shiv Sena, the BJP and the MNS. 